Affections are like lightning. You can't tell where they will strike until they have fallen. Lee Iacocca. Hi everyone, it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber Goodman Art. And also welcome to the second video of my Catatumba Lightning series. I loved how this painting turned out and I was inspired by the photo I shared previously for my color palette. I used a lot of violets and magentas and uh, interference red and I was super excited to use my Triart Copper Cell Activator. I absolutely love the movement in this painting and I kept all my movements very intentional. Without further ado, let's go check out what I created. Here are the colors that I am using for my Lighthouse of Maracaibo painting. As you see, I am using colors from the photo that I shared earlier of the Catatumba Lightning. And my base paint right here is a mixture of Kaput Mortem Violet by Amsterdam and some Amsterdam Red Violet. Then I have some Amsterdam Naples Yellow, Triart Rose Gold, Amsterdam Naples Red, and some Golden Fluids Permanent Violet Dark. And I also have to incorporate my Golden Interference paints. So this is Golden Interference Red. I am using a 14 by 18 inch wood panel, which is the Da Vinci Ultra Smooth Pro Panel. And here's the consistency of my paints. Now, some are fluid, some are two paints. So I wanted to get the consistency to where it leaves about a one to two second trace. And then there's my wood panel. As I mentioned before, it is 14 by 18 inches. And I did end up painting the top of it because my base is semi-transparent. So I did not want uh, the wood panel to show, the white parts to show. So it's a good practice to paint your canvas or your wood panel or whatever substrate you're using. This is already ultra smooth and gesso prepped, so I did not have to gesso this wood panel. And now I will walk you through the colors and how I layered them. So of course I am pouring out my base paint. It is really pretty. I had used this similar color as a base paint for my Aurora Borealis exhibition that is going on at the Creative Art Center of Dallas. And I really loved the violet burgundy base and it was part of my warm Nimbus quad set. Uh, I felt like the paint was a little bit thick at this moment, but that is okay because it just has a better cell structure when your paints are a little bit thicker. And I am using the recipe from Molly Artistry's Swipe Technique course. I absolutely love her course. And you can save $20 by using my code AMBER20. And I'm also excited to announce that I am now a TriArt affiliate. So you can also save 10% on your TriArt order, just simply go onto their website and enter my code Amber's Awfully Awesome Art, and you will be able to save 10%. Their prices are pretty reasonable if you order directly from the manufacturer. So here I am going to go for a, a line, but my line will be curved. I'm not doing a straight line that I've been doing. So I will start out with my Amsterdam Naples yellow first. I have never used this color and it goes really well with Payne's gray, with your burgundies and violets. It's a super beautiful color. And next I am using Triart Rose Gold, which is another one of my favorite colors by Triart. 
I haven't seen a lot of rose golds out there. This is one of them. And next I will use my Amsterdam Naples Red. I really love Naples Red. Again, it goes great with <clears throat> the Payne's Gray and the Burgundies and the Violets. And now I will layer my Golden Interference Red. And I will alternate this for the remaining layers because I really want um, that color shift to come out. And last but not least, I am using my Golden Fluids Permanent Dark Violet. This is one of my favorite violets out there. Amsterdam has a similar one. It's a little bit darker. It is Permanent Blue Violet, and it has a... Uh, more of a blue shade to it but it's also really pretty and then I'm just going to add a little bit more of that golden interference red and I decided to use triart copper as my cell activator and it is simply gorgeous and there it is I will let you guys enjoy the rest of the process and I will be back with the wet result once I blow it out Here is the wet result of my Lighthouse of Maracaibo painting. I love how it turned out. And as you noticed, all of my moves are intentional. I don't just want to layer the cell activator and blow it out. I really want to be very intentional with my movements to where they imitate or replicate the lightning in the photo that I shared earlier in my video. Here is another look. I did use Mixed Media Girl resin to resin this piece and it turned out amazing. I will have those results next. And I did end up getting a frame for this and I'm just waiting on it to come. That area was a little bit messy with the cell activator, but overall it's okay and it dried really well. And next I will share the resin results. Here is the dried resin result of my painting. I used Mixed Media Girl resin and did about two coats and it is absolutely phenomenal with her resin. I will have her website and channel linked down below and I had a flawless finish on this. I will be framing this since this will be in an exhibition at the Visual Art League of Louisville, so you can definitely see this in person at the Grand Theater in Louisville 
from November 9th through November the 30th. So definitely go check out my paintings there. I will have all that information linked down below. And I wanted y'all to see the color shift from the golden interference red and how it plays really well with the yellows and the burgundies and the violet. Well, there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this painting. And I can't wait to share more in the series. My light oak maple frame ended up coming on time and I just love how it changes the entire look of the painting. It really makes the burgundies and the violets and the coppers and yellows pop. I'm so excited that this will be on exhibit at the Louisville Grand Theater as part of the new member exhibit of the Visual Art League of Louisville. Well, everyone, I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating this painting. And I'm thinking about doing another painting in the same size and the same wood panel, but on a darker base, such as Amsterdam Blue Violet or Golden Payne's Gray, and using the same exact colors in the same order. So let me know what y'all think in the comments if you would like to see a video on that. I'm anxious to know what y'all think. And also, as I mentioned earlier, this painting will be on display at the Louisville Grand Theater, part of the new member exhibition for the Visual Arts League of Louisville. So I'm super excited that the painting made it for an exhibition. And I also have a diptych set that is part of the Catatumba Lightning series that I'm doing. And I will share that diptych in my next video. So I'm super excited about that. So definitely be on the lookout for that video, which will be coming soon. And before I leave, make sure you check out the description box for all of the materials and the colors that I used. And also don't forget to check out the TriArt website and save 10% by using my code Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. Their paint is amazing and I really, really love it as my cell activator and for other acrylic techniques. Also, I wanted to share about Molly Artistry's swipe technique course, so definitely check out her course on smartartcourses.com and you can save $20 by using my code AMBER20. It is an amazing course. And also don't forget to check out Mixed Media Girl and her channel and her website mixedmediagirl.com. These are my absolute favorite and I hope that I was able to inspire you guys to start your own journey. Until next time, again, thanks for joining me and taking the time. Be safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome. Bye, guys.